In the previous lecture, I gave you a brief introduction about the DC analysis of depletion type MOSFET. Now we are going to do an example which is example 7.6 in the book and I am required to find first of all the VGSQ and the IDQ and secondly I need to find the VDS. This is actually my Q point and we know that to find the Q point we have two types of graphs. One is the device characteristics or transfer characteristic uh, curve and the other is the network equation curve. The other is network equation curve or load line curve. So now we are given with this arrangement. So now we have the N channel depletion type MOSFET over here. If you can have a look, this is the symbol of N channel depletion type MOSFET. We are given with IDSS and VP and we are given with this arrangement. First of all, what type of configuration is this? So we have two resistors over here. That is why it is a voltage divider bias configuration. So this is voltage divider bias configuration. Voltage divider bias configuration of N channel depletion type MOSFET. This is the symbol of depletion type MOSFET. So again, first of all, let us draw the transfer characteristic or the device characteristic curve. So to draw the transfer characteristic curve, we know that the transfer characteristics is given by the Shockley equation, which is this, which is equal to ID is equal to IDSS one minus VGS divided by VP whole square. And to draw the transfer characteristics in case of N channel depletion type MOSFET, we need four points. Three points are very similar that when VGS is equal to zero volt we have ID is equal to IDSS and when VGS is equal to VP in this case IDSS is the 6 milliampere so I can simply write 6 milliampere over here so my first point is on X axis I have 0 on Y axis I have 6 6 milliampere and when VGS is equal to VP and VP in this case is minus 3 volt so when VGS is equal to VP, I have ID is equal to 0 milliampere. So my second point is going to be minus 3 and 0. And for the third point, we used to take when VGS is equal to VP divided by 2 and minus 3 divided by 2, VP divided by 2, which is equal to minus 5 volt, ID is equal to IDSS divided by 4. And IDSS divided by 4, IDSS is 6 milliampere. So IDSS divided by 4 is 1.5 milliampere. So my third point is going to be minus 1.5 and 1.5 milliampere. So this is my third point. Again, this was for zero and negative. Uh, we know that in case of depletion type MOSFET and channel depletion type MOSFET, we also have some positive value. So we are going to place VGS some positive value, for example, one volt, and we are going to place in this equation. When we place in this equation, we substitute IDSS is equal to 6 milliampere, VP is equal to minus 3 volt, and VGS we substitute 1 volt. So when we solve this, we get ID is equal to 10.67 milliampere. So when we solve this, we are going to get ID is equal to 10.67 milliampere. So this is now my four point, and my four point is going to be on x axis I have VGS 1 volt, on y axis I have 10.67. So now we are going to draw this graph and to draw this graph what I am going to do is that I am going to take the x axis as well as y axis. So let me draw the y axis, this is my drain current axis and then let me draw the x axis over here. And this is my x axis which is the VGS and this is my drain current ID. So now for the first point when VGS is equal to 0 and the VGS is 0 voltage over here we have ID is equal to IDSS which is 6 milliampere so let's suppose this is my 6 milliampere so this is my first point and when, when VGS is equal to minus 3 let's suppose I have minus 3 over here we have minus 2 over here and minus 1 over here so when I have minus 3 over here we have ID is equal to 0 
So my second point is this point and for the third point when VGS is VP divided by 2 that is minus 5.5 volt we have ID current which is 1.5 which will be around here. So we are going to join these three points and that will be the transfer characteristic for left side. Now on the right side I have this point which is when VGS is 1 volt so let's suppose this is my 1 volt ID is equal to 10.6 milliampere. So ID is equal to 10.6 milliampere which will be around here. So I am going to again join this and this is now my fourth point. So now my transfer characteristic curve is complete. As you can have a look for the VGS greater than 0 volt that is for 1 volt we also have current which is equal to 10.6 milliampere. So now this is my device characteristic curve or transfer characteristic curve. Device curve or transfer curve. So this is my device characteristic curve or transfer characteristic curve. The next curve that I need to plot is the network equation curve. Again this is the voltage divider bias configuration. So to find VG, VG can be found by using the voltage divider rule. So to find VG, we have VG is equal to VDD into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Here and R1 and R2 are these resistances and VDD is this which is 18 volt. So when we place gear we get VG is equal to 1.5 volt. So when we solve we get VG is equal to 1.5 volt. So VG is equal to 1.5 volt. Now this is going to be my VG. This is my VG. So now what I am going to do is to apply a KVL over here and because the source current IS is flowing here and because IG is equal to 0 so we can say that drain current is flowing here. Why? Because ID is equal to IS as VGS as IG is approximately equal to 0 ampere which is the characteristic of the field effect transistor. So VG is equal to 1.5 volt and again when I apply a KVL over here we are going to get VG, VG is equal to and both this is my VGS which is a drop and then IDRS is also a drop. So we have VG is equal to VGS plus IDRS which implies that VGS is equal to VD minus IDRS. So this is now going to be my network equation and we need to plot this equation uh, to get the network equation curve. And from this equation let me write it over here. From this equation when ID is equal to 0 we have VGS is equal to sorry this is not VD this is VG because this is VG here so this is VG. When VGS is equal to when ID is equal to 0 VGS is equal to VG. So this is going to be one of my points and when VGS is equal to 0 when I put VGS is equal to 0 in this equation I get ID is equal to VG by RS. So that is going to be my second point and VG is 1.5 volt R, R S is 750 ohm. So when we simplify this we get 2 milliampere. So one of the points which is this is my point number 2 this is 0 to 2 milliampere. And my first point was VGS is equal to VG when ID is 0 and VG is 1.5 so that is 1.5 and 0. So by using this P1 point 1.5 and 0 and P2 point 0 and 2 milliampere we are going to plot the network equation characteristic curve or the load line curve. So let me draw the load line curve over here again we have these two points. First point is that when VGS is equal to 1.5 volt so let's suppose we have 1 volt over here this is 2 volt and this is going to be 1.5 volt. At this point I have a VGS is equal to 1.5 volt and ID current is equal to 0. So this is going to be my P1. So this is going to be my P1 and for P2 I have 0 and 2 milliampere. So let's suppose here I have the 2 milliampere over here. So this is going to be my point number 2 which is 0 and 2 milliampere. Because here VGS is 0 and ID current is 2 milliampere. So what I am going to do is I am going to draw a straight line. So I am going to draw a straight line between these two points and then I am going to extend this straight line. 
and when I extend this straight line now this straight line is the network equation curve or this is the load line curve and this was our transfer characteristic curve so now we have a common point over here we have an intersection point over here and this intersection point is called q point or quotient point or operating point and then we are going to see on the y axis and x axis and when we see that on the y axis we have idq is equal to 3.1 milli ampere on on the x axis we have vgsq is equal to let me light it over here that vgsq is equal to minus 0 0.8 volt so now we have found out the vgsq and we have found out the idq which is 3.1 milli ampere because this is my idq so we have done the first point which was to find the q point that was to find the vgsq and the idq so let me erase all these again we have the vgsq is equal to minus 0 0.8 volt and we have the idq which was 3.1 milliampere now in second point we need to find the vds and again vds can be easily find from here that vds is equal to vdd minus id rs plus rd so now we are going to substitute this vdd is my 18 volt id current is my this 3.1 milliampere rd is my 1.8 kilo ohm and rs is my 6750 ohm when i do the substitution i get vds is equal to 10.1 volt so this now i have also find the vds if i want to find the vs i can simply find by using the equation idrs the VDA, vs is equal to idrs and you need to just substitute values to get vs and if you find, want to find the vd so we know that vds is equal to vd minus vs which implies that vd is equal to vds plus vs so once you find vs from here you need to substitute it here and you are going to get the vd so this is how we can solve the voltage divider bias configuration of the n channel depletion type mosfet